How many of us have been to the ocean? Let's see a, a show of hands. You can chat it. How many of you been to, have been to the ocean? All right, let me hear what oceans you've been to. Pacific? Atlantic? The Caribbean? Okay, Rick? Say it again. Yes, you've been to the ocean. The ocean, on average, is 2.3 miles deep, just on average. Does, that is the distance between here to the target on Ford Parkway, in case that means anything to you. There's a Starbucks there. That's why it means something to me. Now, does anybody know the deepest part of the ocean that's recorded? Yes, Roman. Yes! I was hoping he would say that. How many of you have seen the show, Kids in the Room? What's that show called? Octonauts! Octonauts! It's these little creatures, and they're in a submarine, and they travel to parts of the world that show you different animals. And it is interesting that the deepest part of the Mariana Trench is 6.825 miles deep. That is deep, and if you don't think that that's deep, that means you can take Mount Everest, put it in the Mariana Trench, and still have it not touch the top of the water. That's deep. Now, we know that it's not humanly possible to swim to the bottom of the ocean. Like, no one can do that, not even Michael Phelps. In fact, I don't even know if someone could swim across the ocean, like could a human even do that? But if you can imagine trying to swim and you're swimming and you're swimming, it would feel like there's no end. There's no floor. And certainly even 6.825 miles deep, there is a floor to the ocean. It does end. A couple of years ago, we were uh, hiking, our family in Wisconsin, and we had about an hour and a half because we were driving to Chicago, and we thought, let's get out and let's stretch our legs. Well, what turned out, to, what hoped to be an hour-long hike at Devil's Lake turned into like four hours. Why? Because our family got stuck on a loop, and the bugs were so bad that if you stopped, even for a moment, to stop to listen to the grumbling, so it could catch up to you, <laughs> eh, you would get eaten alive by bugs. So we just kept going, like, let's go, let's go, let's go. We, uh, some of us took turns on shoulders of parents, and let's go, let's go, let's go. Well, after enough time, it seemed like this was never going to end. And then we realized we were on a loop. We had to, by that time we were up, we had to off trail it to get all the way back down to our car. And I think our kids thought that we were hiking for eternity. Have you ever been on a walk or a hike or swimming and you think there's just no end? But pretty much everything that we know has an end. There is an end to the hike. There is an end or a floor to the pool. There is an end to the exam. There is an end to the awkward conversation. There is an end to our masks. There is an end to everything. Even if you don't think that there is, and even if you cannot withstand it till that end. But do you know what? God's love for us never ends. God's love for us never ends. And sometimes I think we're put into those moments where we just have to keep going and keep going and keep going and think that there's no end so that we're reminded that God's love actually never ends. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. Or in some translation, it never ceases. It never stops. The definition for faithful is something that is thorough in the performance or duty. Is God thorough in his performance and duty to us? Yes, he is, and it never ends. Another definition for faithful, so if you don't know what that word means, this is the time to, to listen up. The, another word for, or another definition for faithful is true to one's word or promises or vows. Have you ever had a fight with a friend and thought, that's it? 
I just, I crossed the line or they crossed the line. No thank you. God's faithful love to us never gets broken. His promise is forever. It knows no end. And the last definition is steady in allegiance, affection, and loyalty. Do you know that God looks upon all of us with affection and loyalty, and that affection and loyalty will never end? It's not like a sports team that you cheer for one season but don't cheer for the next. It's not based on how you perform or your merit or how pretty you are. It's not based on how fast you are or how young or how old you are. God's love never ends. Can we say that together? God's love never ends. We will hear that today from our pastor. Even the deepest thing on this planet, the Mariana Trench, God's love is deeper and more faithful to us. Let's pray for the message that we are about to receive. If it's helpful to you, you can put your hand on your heart if you're feeling like, I need a word from God for my spirit or my heart today. And if you need to be challenged in your mind, you can put your, he your hand on your head. I need a word from God that will challenge my thinking today. Maybe you're stuck in a rut. And if you just want to sit with your hands in your lap, that's fine too. God, thank you for the promise that your love never ends. God, thank you for being a promise keeper that we can trust. God, you don't just say things to us, but you do them for us. Your love for us never ends. God, I pray for the next uh, time, the next uh, chunk of time that we have. I pray, Lord, that you would search our hearts and bless our hearts. I pray that you would challenge our minds and grow our thinking. And I pray for our pastor that the words that come from his mouth would teach us something to help us grow with you. And we pray these things in the name of Jesus, who was dead, but then rose again. Amen.